Hey everyone, I'm building an entire first-person shooter game from scratch in the Gato engine and documenting the progress with these tutorials. In this video, we're adding a procedural sway animation to our weapon when the player looks around with the mouse. The basic FPS controller project from episode one is available for free on GitHub. And if you'd like to download all of the source files, you can get access by joining my Patreon. Let's dive in. So what exactly is Weapon Sway? Well, up until now, our weapon has been static without movement within our camera. And that lack of movement looks not so great. When we move, our arms and whatever we might be holding don't move exactly the same as our head. And even the early FPS games knew to add some movement to weapons to add realism. The Weapon Sway we are adding today will happen when we look around with our mouse. FPS games often have weapons move on a delay with the camera. We look left, and the weapon follows, but slightly behind. This not only affects the position of the weapon, but also the rotation. And by doing this, our aiming and looking around the level doesn't feel so awkward. The idea is simple. We take the amount of mouse movement while looking and apply that amount to our weapon position and rotation while using a lerp. The lerp, or linear interpolation, will make the change in position and rotation more gradual as we interpolate between the difference in current position and desired position. We'll also add some variables that will utilize our custom resource weapon system we set up so that we can adjust the amount, speed, and thresholds for our sway for each weapon independently. First, we add some variables we'll need for our sway function in the weapon resource we created in a previous episode. I'll leave a link to that episode in the description. This will provide a variable for each weapon type we create so we can adjust our sway parameters individually. In my weapons custom resource script, I've added a new export category in six new variables, a min and max sway amount to help clamp our mouse movement, sway speed for position and rotation. These will set the alphas of our lerps. Higher values mean we lerp more quickly from our A to B values, and lower values mean more slowly. In other words, higher values make our movement quicker. And finally, two adjustment variables to manipulate the mouse movement value we get for the position and rotation. The sway function we'll create will sit in our initiate weapon script. The script already loads our weapon parameters when we load the game or switch weapons. In the future, we could add an entirely new state machine just for our weapons that would coincide with our movement state machine. But for now, we'll house the function here. The function is rather straightforward. First, we need our mouse movement info. We add a new variable mouse movement to hold our vector2 info. Then add an if statement to our input event function where we check if the event is input event mouse motion. This fires whenever the mouse moves. Then we set mouse movement to equal our event.relative. We used this same information when we created our camera movement in an earlier episode. It basically gets how much the mouse has moved since the last frame. Now that we have our mouse movement, we create our swap weapon function with delta as a parameter because we're gonna be running this every frame in our physics process function. Then we clamp our mouse movement using the min and max variables we created earlier in our weapon resource script. A quick note here is that I'm using the clamp function from my vector two, not just a simple clamp function. And there is a difference. This function works specifically with vectors and it's gonna provide a better result. The clamp will keep the sway movement within a range that we set, so even if the mouse moves super fast, the effect won't move beyond our set min and max. I'm using a min and max of negative 20 and 20. Then we adjust the X of our weapon position with a lerp. Here we are lerping between our current X position to our default weapon position minus our mouse movement amount times delta. Note that we are adjusting our mouse movement value by our sway amount variable we created to decrease the intensity by multiplying by 0.07. Finally, our lerp alpha uses our sway speed position variable, which is set to a low 0.1. In other words, every frame we are adjusting our position x to get closer to our mouse adjusted weapon position by a rate of 0.1. So every frame we get 10% closer to our desired value. The same principle applies to our y position. The only change being we add instead of subtract to flip the movement. The effect is a gradual movement or interpolation to our desired weapon position based on our mouse movement. 
The same process applies to our rotation. We set our Y and X rotations by lerping every frame from the current value to a mouse movement adjusted value while utilizing our adjustment and alpha variables we set in our custom resource. Finally, we run our sway weapon function every frame. All right, guys, if this tutorial was helpful, consider a like and subscribe to the channel as we're gonna be covering a lot more. Thanks to all of my patrons who keep this series going. You too can get access to the project source files by joining my Patreon. You can download everything there and you'll also get early access to my videos and sneak peeks at future tutorials. Thanks for watching and as always, keep creating.